Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how to easily access your student email account from home. And one thing to remember about this is this is one of the gateways uh, easily access all the other Google apps that you or your child might need to access um, for all this virtual schooling that's happening now. So we'll start with opening a new web browser. So if you just go down to your bottom, um, and most people usually just have a Google Chrome um, to quickly click on and access, um, and it pulls up the, the internet. So from there, up in the address bar, you want to go ahead and type the school district website, ccs.k12.nc.us. And once you've typed it a few times, your web browser usually remembers, and then you can just click on it. But otherwise, just type it in and push enter. And that will bring you to our school district's website. And so just make sure it says Cumberland County Schools at the top and you will be good to go from this point on. So then what you need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom. So that part's pretty easy to remember. Get to the school district website and scroll all the way to the bottom. And from there, you're gonna see where it says employee resources. Now I know it says employee resources, but students, you use that as well. And you might, have, uh, you might be familiar with that because home base login, that's where you go to get to SuccessMaker, um, iStation when we were using it, SchoolNet. But for today and for this conversation, we're going to use this link, CCS Google Mail. And once you highlight or you point on that with your cursor, um, it'll probably kick out this little name here, but you're gonna click on that hyperlink and it will take you to, or should take you to this next page. It usually opens another uh, tab to do so. And from here, what you're gonna do is for your username, just like trying to get into home base, your username is your lunch number or also called your student ID number, okay? So you're gonna type that in there. And then for your password, it's your six digit birth date. So if you are trying to get into the, the Google suite, which is your email, um, Google Classroom, all of that, your password is your birth date. So six digits, two for the month, two for the day, two for the year. So there's your six digits, you put those in there. This is not your teacher's default password to get into home base. That one needs to come from your teacher. But for this situation, it is your user ID number and it is your, or student ID number, excuse me, and your birth date. And then once you push log in, it'll take you to your email. Now, as you can see, this is Ms. Bronowski's and it's it's got a lot of stuff, so I covered a lot of stuff, but from here, you will have access to your email and you can see everything that you have unread for the die. Um, scroll down, you can see things that you have read. You've got your Google chats off to the, or Hangouts off to the side, but this is one of the most important pieces. Once you access your email, which is extremely important, you can see emails from teachers, posting in Google Classroom, reminders, web links, all sorts of great stuff. But when you're on your email, you can also get over here to the Google Apps. We call this the three by three matrix right here. You click on that and it will give you a drop down of all of these other Google Apps. So maybe you need to type something in Google Docs. Maybe you need to go to your Google Classrooms and check in on your work for the morning. Maybe you need to go to a Google Meet and meet up with your teacher for a live chat. This is a very quick, easy way, as long as you have this three by three up top, shows that you're signed into the district's Google suite, you can quickly, easily access all of your Google apps off to the side. All right, well, I hope that helps and hope you're able to log in a lot easier now. Have a great day.